The story I'm about to tell you is so tragic, I don't know if I'll make it through to the end. August 1944. The people of Warsaw rise up against the German occupiers in what will become the biggest battle of World War II. Eleven teenage girls volunteered to serve as nurses and are sent to a field hospital in the western Wola district of the city. Unbeknownst to them, Adolf Hitler has ordered that Warsaw be wiped off the face of the earth and Wola is where it begins. After five days, the front line reaches the hospital and the Germans start to shell the buildings with artillery. They enter the complex, killing patients in their beds and setting the buildings on fire so that patients are forced to escape them and jump to their deaths rather than be burnt alive. The German soldiers then order the teenage girls and the doctors outside into the courtyard. They line the doctors up and shoot them one at a time in the head. Then it's the girls' turn. The soldiers order them forward. They step forward together. And you know what? They're singing, singing the Polish national anthem. They served together, they stood together, and they were murdered together. I don't ask anything of you now, except to hold the people you love dearly, closer than ever before, and give thanks that you can be with them. And to hold a little place in your heart for those girls and the 1,200 other people who were murdered on that day, in that place, on the 5th of August, 1944. And if you're ever in Warsaw, come to the military cemetery here in Provonsky and lay a flower at these girls' graves.